Let's go over cropping and masking images in Figma. There are essentially three ways to do this. So the first one is the crop tool, the crop button. The advantage is, is that it's very quick, but you don't get a choice in terms of what shape of the cutout of the crop is it actually gonna be. If I select the image and then go to the top panel right here, click crop image, it will toggle this mode of images where you can click and drag these corners to adjust the position of the crop as well as the position of the image. You can go to the edges, hover over the edges of the image and then increase or decrease the size and even you know shrink it any way you like. So you can manipulate with the image as well as manipulate with the actual crop. After you're done with selecting the position of your crop, you can press enter and it confirms the changes that you just did. The next option is option plus double clicks. This is very similar to the previous method I've just shown you. You're gonna select the image. I'm pressing down alt or option and then double click this image. So basically it's the exact same mode we've just entered as on the previous method and you're gonna again select the shape of the crop out as well as the position of the image. It's really the same only the method by which you ac access this feature is different. So again I'm gonna press enter and the third method is masking. So you can actually select which parts of the image are gonna be visible and this visible part can have any shape you'd like. So let's say we wanna make a cutout in the shape of a star or this random shape that I created. We're gonna position the star over the image, make it a little bit larger, and then move that into the background. So I'm gonna press Command Option Left Bracket to position that behind the image, right? And then I'm gonna select both of these, the star as well as the image, and go here to click Use as Mask. So you can see that we got a star-shaped cutout of the image, and we can now manipulate with the shape as well as the image. We can, you know, position these vertices around them, kind of do whatever we'd like. It's very flexible. The disadvantage of this feature is that it's slower than the previous methods, but it's very, it's highly customizable and you can make some very interesting things with that. So that's really cool about this feature. You can see that it created something called a mask group within which there is the image and then the shape of the cutout. So bo both of these are intact. You can manipulate with these, move them around. Um, both the shape and the image. Of course, the cutout doesn't have to cover the entire image. If it doesn't, then it's just gonna, you know, leave it transparent, nothing much unexpected there. Let's just finish this and let's see what it looks like if we use this shape as a mask for this image. I'm gonna again move it into the very background by pressing Command Option Left Bracket and then selecting both and clicking here to click Use as Mask or also Control-Command-M. Let's see, Control-Command-M. So it created another mask group, again with the image and the vector that you can then manipulate with and adjust however you see fit. So that's how you crop and mask images in Figma. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and also make sure to check out my channel if you're interested in Figma. I do plenty of tutorials on Figma, UX and UI design. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.